Hello, my name is Michael Zells, and today I'm going to be talking to you directly from my blog located at prostatefoods.com. Today's topic is cruciferous vegetables. This is a uh, these are vegetables that I recommend eating uh, that kind of target your prostate. I'm going to show you my website a little bit. It's called Prostate Foods, and uh, we promote prostate health. You can see here we have enlarged prostate treatment, and it, when you click on that, you see some of the different pills and so forth, the supplements that we recommend purchasing. There's quite a few of them. Uh, then we also have prostate cancer protection, and these are some items that you can purchase uh, to show your support for the battle against prostate cancer. We have our prostate food section, and these are all uh, diet books, prostate diet books, for example, that, that kind of help and guide you to uh, better nutrition. Now, uh, on to the prostate health blog. I'm going to read directly from my blog. And like I said, we're going to be talking about uh, uh, cruciferous vegetables. So I'm going to start off. Hello, and thank you for watching my video series and reading my blog on the recommended foods to eat for a healthy prostate. My name is Michael Zells, and I'd like to uh, start off by saying that I'm not a doctor nor affiliated with the medical community whatsoever. However, I am a male in my early 40s who has had a family history of prostate cancer and am very determined to protect myself from being afflicted with this common cancer that according to the American Cancer Society afflicts one in seven men. When I was in my late 30s, I began experiencing the common symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, which is also called benign enlargement of the prostate. These symptoms included frequent urination. I wasn't able to enjoy a beer or coffee. I'd be playing golf or out you know, on an outing or something with a family, and I'd, I'd have to be very close to the bathroom all the time. And when I did go to the bathroom, I'd have a weak urine flow, uh, including taking forever just to get started to urinate. And then when I was urinating, it was kind of an on and off flow. It was inconsistent. Of course, uh, waking up three to four times a night is a... Uh, a mild case of insomnia, I would say, or more, and I was doing that on a nightly basis. My bladder felt like it was never empty all the way. Like I, I would go to the bathroom, and 10, 15 minutes, maybe an hour later, I'd feel like I have to go again. And unfortunately, I also had some sexual problems, which I preferred, of course, not to discuss with you. I was basically a slave to the urinal, and I wanted my life back, so I started researching everything I could to reverse this negative trajectory. I started purchasing countless prostate supplements, thinking that this would be this would do the trick, but nothing I took seemed to work. It wasn't until I created what I call my prostate reset system that I started to see results. I can't guarantee that this system will work for you, but at the end of this presentation, I will tell you how you can learn about my prostate reset system, which is absolutely free. I'm not going to ask you to buy anything and how you can apply it to your life and hopefully start seeing the results I started to see, which included sleeping through the night, increased energy due to having uh, lost some weight and I started eating a lot better. I had a stronger urine flow with no complications and more importantly, a strong sexual drive. Okay, with that said, let's get started with my first prostate food that I recommend you start eating. Now, I'm doing this because I'm reading directly from the blog posts that I feel are, are the most important. And uh, next week I'll be talking about lycopene, which I'll, I'll, I'll mention early, later on. But I just want to I want to focus in on these posts that I think are very important to share with men out there that are uh, that had the same problems I had. And uh, hopefully this will help you out. Okay, cruciferous vegetables. There's several of them. I want to focus on broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. They're known as the super veggies. Uh, they're rich in phytochemicals, vitamins, and minerals, and uh, they have plenty of fiber, which can all benefit your health in many ways. There's plenty of information on the Internet regarding the health and natural cancer-fighting benefits of eating these cruciferous vegetables. Thus, instead of me regurgitating this information to you, I'd rather tell you how to incorporate these vegetables in your daily routine. There are two ways I recommend eating these vegetables on a daily basis. Both ways include steaming the vegetables for no longer than five minutes prior to consumption. The first is simple, steam and eat as a side for both lunch and dinner. 
The second and my preferred way of eating these vegetables is by combining an equal portion of broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower in a blender, adding water, and making what I call a cruciferous smoothie. I usually add a little bit of local honey to offset the bland taste, but other than that, it's it's exactly what the doctor, well, exactly what I like to drink. Depending on your budget, you can either purchase these cruciferous vegetables from a health food store, local grocer, or what I recommend is getting them directly from the frozen food aisle at your local, local supermarket. Now, oftentimes, uh, the frozen vegetables will boast like a higher nutritional content than the fresh vegetables. Additionally, the reason the reason why I like them the most is because they last a lot longer in my freezer than they do in my fridge. And maybe it's just me, but they also taste a little bit better when they're blended. The frozen vegetables do. Like I said earlier, here's a, a, a wiki link. You can go to a wiki link and, and learn all you want about cruciferous vegetables. There's a comprehensive list there of cru cruciferous vegetables and their health benefits. All right, well, that's it for uh, this video. Next week, I'll be creating a video regarding the benefits of eating lycopene, which is found in tomatoes. As promised earlier, if you are interested in learning more about my prostate reset system, which is absolutely free, and taking back control of your life, then please comment below, and I'll send you a free copy. In the comments section, please type, send me your free prostate reset system. Thanks for watching, and you can also visit my site here at prostatefoods.com and read the full transcript of my blog. And here's the comment section. I'm already logged in, so you're going to have to log in yourself and then uh, send me uh, send me what I said here. Free, send me a free prostate reset system. And all it is, it's it's a, a document and kind of giving you uh, a little background of what I did to help me out uh, in terms of uh, regaining my prostate uh, health back. So uh, appreciate you guys listening to my video here or watching my video and. Uh, Make sure to visit my site, and I did lie to you earlier. I do want you to purchase products, but I want you to purchase them from my site here at prostatefoods.com. Thank you very much, and uh, have a blessed day.